back once again with the Capsulier Master Laser Damager Power to Amar. Hello, fellow Capsuliers of New Edeon. Um, yes, today we'll be bringing you my Harbinger fit for the finishing story missions. I've finished a few uh, um, T8s now with this. It's um, it's going well. I've got it now up to, to the specs I kind of want. I mean, there's a few things I could beef out a little bit more, um, but not too much now. Um, so yeah, the lovely old uh, Harbinger here. Harbinger here. So, for the for the high slots, we have six Corporan C-type medium pulse lasers. Yes, this is not a sniper fit. Um, I'm going to do a sniper fit as well but this is it's kind of a hybrid fit I'd say it's, it's not really too up close and it's not really too far away you're just kind of sitting at the 25 kilometer range here um, and yeah as you can see I'm getting uh, 539.79 uh, DPS most of that is with the talents of course because you've only got the one drone um so anyway yeah so we've got two interruptive status weather fires and um one upir medium nosferatu i'll probably upgrade that at some point um i mean i've kind of gone all all in with this one anyway so um, it'll be nice to, to upgrade everything to, to max. I've got a Mark 7 Vespa. The reason I've gone for a Vespa is because I'm in a laser ship. I'm taking care of, of this side of things with my lasers. So I just thought I'd have that little extra bit of backup there for, um, for when I'm actually into the armor and structure. Um, right, I've gone for... Uh, Bastion 800 millimeter reinforced steel plate, extremely helpful. Keeps me in the battle for longer. And I've got, I have gone for the um, C-type medium armor repair. I only got this one yesterday, and uh, so far, yeah, it's sped up being able to do the um, the missions because you can stay in the fight a little bit longer, and also um, if you have to do a quick yo-yo, you um, you're able to to repair yourself relatively fast. At least, well, I think it works out about twenty five percent faster than the um, gorget or gorget. And then we're on to the smuggler medium. I, I will be upgrading this as well to a, a better afterburner. Um, it basically it means I can do almost five hundred um, kilometers a second when I turn that one on, and it just it just does just allow me to to dictate a little bit of distance when I need it. So it allows me to spread spread the group out basically yeah, so I can take care of the fast ones first um, and yeah seeing as you can't you can't double up now on uh, on these I've gone for the uh, the, uh, the pilfer which again I will I will upgrade to, to maximum at some point and I've got the sparkly um, again all to be upgraded to max at some point uh, as you can see that this this I mean gives me a pretty decent defense 31,437 yeah for my shields I, I, I'm an armor tank I really don't care about my shields um, I mean if, if anything I'm um, Oh, actually, we'll go to the rigs first. Yeah, as you can see right for, for the for the rigs. I didn't go for for um, full-on DPS like I said I'm a bit of a hybrid so I went for the armor hit point bonus one of 25% I figured that would that would probably be more useful to an armor tank anyway um, so I mean maybe if, if I was going to go full-on armor tank I'd want to fill in these gaps here um, so I'd probably take take these two out and, and change them up for kinetic and explosive resistances um, ju just to really beef beef the armor tankiness of this up, but I'm happy with this hybrid fit. So we'll go to yeah capacitor now. As you can see, with the Nosferatu, we know right. Yeah, actually, let's take the Nosferatu offline for 
a minute so we can see the true stats of this thing sorry when you got with the capacitor as you can see it's it's not stable 19 minutes still though so it's, it's pretty decent um thanks to thanks to these these rigs i've got now i think the argument is kind of settled as to, to which is best now but i have gone for um yeah very expensive fit this is this is not this is not a fit for the isk poor um yeah semiconductor memory cell 2 uh which uh gives me the 20 percent boost and i've gone for another semiconductor memory cell um i don't yeah th there's no um penalties for this so like that that's, i've got 40 percent flat out bonus to that and i did go for a capacitor control circuit just to be a little bit controversial, right? Why not have one? Just to help a little bit more with the with the recharge rate as well. Um, although I may very well switch that one out for another for another semiconductor. So yeah, that's my fit. As you can see, without the NAS Nosferatu, you can still stay in. I mean, I'm barely using the Nosferatu anyway. It's it, ships don't tend to get close enough to use it. Like I said, I can tend to take most ships out. Well, I can start doing damage at around the 30, 30 to 35 kilometre range. Um, but I'm doing quite heavy damage by the time they're at 25 kilometres. So they, they rarely get into range of the Nosferatu. So, so this is kind of what you're working with most of the time. Um, but again, most of the time, I mean, you're not really using all of your your um, low slots all of the time this one obviously it's you're only activating that once every what minute and a half at most um you've usually got got these running um but this one you, you're kind of on and off with this one so, so a lot of the time you are you're, you're very stable you're very stable anyway um let's get me nosferatu fitted again bomb obviously that's that does stable it out give, gives it a pretty good um pretty good whack i mean as you can see because I've, I've i am skilled into this um i've got the well i've got at least got the full skills for the ship itself if not i mean i've still got a few more battle ship skills to go laser skills to go and stuff but um as you can see so without the afterburner i'm doing 226.25 like i say with the afterburner i'm i'm close to 500 so um it's it, it's not a speed tank but it's it's speedy enough which is surprising in the harbinger um but as for skills let's right i'll say at the moment i i'm trying to skill into the um the prophecy so i am actually going for drone at the moment but um as you can see for my lasers i am ooh, right medium late oh, right medium laser operation five advanced medium laser operation five medium laser upgrade five medium um, laser upgrade three uh, this is what i'll be working on after um after my drones more than likely uh but then we go to obviously yeah engineering i know it's quite easy to overlook engineering but i mean and obviously you can see i could still do some work to that and make that capacitor very much more more stable um i mean definitely getting that one up to four oh no i can't check the time because of the queue but yeah i'll, I'll certainly be be working more on this as well um targeting could probably do with getting that that one up to four maybe even five it would just obviously help for when hitting the, the smaller ships and getting locked on faster now as for the maintenance side of things obviously I've, that's what they give you in the game i've not really worked on shield but for armor i have gone um not not like heavy heavy but but pretty heavy and in, into to the whole armor side of stuff obviously being an armor tank all right that one could do with being a four and uh, i'm actually thinking of working on the uh, remote armor now so i can free up some some low slots uh maybe switch out the nosferatu for a large armor repairer but i I'll, I'll need to work on those skills first and then of course down to the um defense upgrade i've just finished off five for that i'm going to be getting that one up to four after i've done the lasers the laser upgrade 
and as for cruising um, yeah you can see I've, I've just gone for the five so I'll be working on advanced battle cruiser command as well just to up that inertia modifier it even more um, afterburner five but I haven't really worked on anything else as you can see so um, yeah that's, that's basically the rundown of skills and my fit for the harbinger if you enjoyed the video please hit subscribe um, hit like uh, if you actually want to see me flying any missions, like I say, I'm, I'm live. If if I'm playing the game, I'm live streaming. So you can probably catch me on my live stream. I mean, if if the, if I get enough people commenting and asking to actually for me to just do a specific video on the gameplay of the story missions with this fit, then put some comments in. And if I get enough demand, I will actually record a video of me doing a, a full mission um t8 i will i won't i won't wimp out on you like like most eve content creators do i will i will um show you a full a full um mission and that way you can fast forward at your own choice uh, anyway thanks for tuning in and i will catch you around new eden